Hello and welcome to Jewelry Rescue. I'm Kat and I'm a girl on a mission to rescue and recycle the world's unwanted jewellery. Today we have a huge bag of broken jewellery bits from one of my local charity shops. I'm going to be digging through and seeing what I can find to break apart and upcycle into new jewellery and I'm also looking for vintage treasures that I can restore and resell. I have an eBay shop, an Etsy shop and I also sell through two local high street retailers as well. I have weighed the bag on the bathroom scales and it's four pounds, so we've got lots to look through. I can't wait to dive in. Before we do, please don't forget to like and subscribe below so that you can see my future videos and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Let's dive in. Wowzers, there's quite a lot of stuff to get through here and quite a lot of loose beads. So I've tipped what was in the bottom of the bag into this tray because they were bouncing all over my workroom. So we'll have a look through that in a moment too. I have got two confessions to make before we start. Um, one is that I did buy myself a couple of bits in the shop while I was picking this up. Um, I picked up these gorgeous earrings, which look to be onyx perhaps, that black, and they're obviously sterling silver. They're a stud, they're only three pounds and they have a 925 just on the back there, aren't they gorgeous? I couldn't leave those there. So those are probably gonna be for me. I also was there just as she was topping up the ring stand on the counter and I found this beauty. So this is unmarked silver, but I know, I'm pretty sure I know what it is because I have one very similar. I made this one, it's sterling silver with copper at a workshop that I did that anybody can book on to. I just did it at the local adult ed school and I'm pretty sure this one is the same. It's not been finished perfectly. You see the seam here hasn't quite soldered across. Um, it's copper as well with silver and as I say no markings but I'm pretty sure that's because it was made in a workshop. It is sadly too big even for my thumb but if I push another ring up against it it will keep it on so possibly going to keep that one as well. Now my other confession is that I did peek into the top of the bag, I couldn't help myself when I got home and I spied this beauty. So I've had a look at this one. I have fixed it and I've been wearing it. <laughs> I think it's going to stay in my personal collection. It's lapis lazuli. Um, it's got some beautiful striation, is that what we call it, in the stone. And I think this is brass. And I think the reason it was in here is because it's got an incredibly stiff clasp. But as I say, I have been wearing it since I picked up this bag last week and it has loosened up. So, and when I, when I went to pick it up I was wearing this lapis ring and I was wearing a gold and silver ring as well and it was just meant to be wasn't it so I hope you'll forgive me for pulling that one out of the bag but I haven't looked at the rest of it so let's see what we've got um, I noticed straight away we have a pencil sharpener I'm not quite sure what that's doing in there so I'm just going to throw that straight into the bin excuse the noise um, this is cool look at this I'm guessing that we're not going to have pairs of earrings because in my other big um, unboxing, the six pound one, which I'll link up here because it was pretty epic, that came from a shop that doesn't sell earrings. So there was lots of paired vintage earrings. This shop does, as you can see, because I just bought some. So I think if we find earrings, they're probably not going to be pairs unless they're broken, unfortunately. This one's really cool. Um, I think it's an early plastic. It's very light. That could be made into a pendant or a charm. Oh, this is exciting. So have we got the, what have we got on here? Oh, Mexico 925 on the, I'm just trying to get it to focus, there we go, on the end there. So I have a necklace. I was just talking with that girl, Dina Marie, um, over on her channel. She showed a necklace that was similar to this that I had in my jewellery box that I bought at a car boot sale a few years ago and I didn't know what it was. It's called Liquid Silver. Um, these tiny sterling silver beads strung onto a very fine cord. This one obviously is a necklace, uh, sorry, is an earring. And I have the necklace, so perhaps if there isn't a mate to that, perhaps I'll make that into a pendant to hang from mine. That's really cool, I'm excited about that. We've got some beads, so I will just pop those straight into one of my trays for upcycling, obviously for reusing. What's this one? A pendant. That looks like silver plated, looks like the plating's come off. It's quite cool though, isn't it? That could go onto a new chain. 
And we've got a seed bead, what looks like a choker. I'm always looking for blue beads. For some reason, I don't get donated blue as many uh, as as many other colours. We've got the King's Coronation coming up, so I want red, white and blue. So I'll be using these to make earrings from. And this one is cool. Feels like costume though. Yeah, it's not silver and sadly it's got some of its little crystals missing there. That will probably go into craft, not much I can do with that one. It's just some more seed beads in there. This looks like we've got beads in all sorts. This has caught my eye. Oh, look at him. What a shame he's lost one of his feet. His costume, look, he's articulated. Oh, I love him. Oh, what a shame. What will we do with him? I'm sure that my daughters will probably nab that off me. We'll have a think about what to do with that one. Of course, it wouldn't have been in the bag if it wasn't broken, so I can't be too bad, too sad about it. This is just costume. I can feel it's that really, really thin metal. What is this? That's bizarre. Not quite sure what that is, but I can reuse this crystal dangle for something. We've got some chunky faux pearl, faux pearl beads. Those will go into children's workshops. I'm running two in May where I then help children to make their own upcycled stretchy bracelets. So encouraging them not to throw things away and to make new things. So those will go in the same. These are pretty beads. I think they're just plastic again, sadly, but quite cute. Mm, this has got the feel of a, yeah, it's just plated. I can't tell if that's actually shell or if it's resin. It might be shell with like a lacquer over the top. I'll probably make that into a pendant or a charm. That's a piece of broken glass. I think that's probably come off whatever that other th that crystal thing was on. It's sort of looks like fishing line or something. This is all broken bits. That might be a bit of sterling there, so I'll have a look at that in more detail later off camera. They've got an infinity necklace. And it's got a C and a heart. That's my initial, but uh, sadly it's just costume. That's strange, isn't it? I think somebody's added those bits later, maybe. I'll probably just reuse those bits. We've got a little friendship type bracelet. That's gone a bit gross. I think I'll just cut the beads off that for the children's workshops. Costume earring. That looks very much like the ones we used to sell at Price Accessories in the early noughties. That's obviously the other one. Must have been a pair of earrings. I might actually make those back into earrings. I think I will. I'm just sorting things around into trays so that I don't have to sort this twice. And that's another sort of noughties dangle. Could it be silver? Let's get the old magnet on it and see if it's magnetic. Not magnetic, so perhaps we'll test that one. I have now bought testing acids. So I will be doing some gold and silver testing, which is really exciting because I've got lots in my death pile that I can't list because I don't know what they are. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, this is MS, Marks and Spencers. I've got an idea for my studs. I thought perhaps we might get some like polystyrene. Um, standing letters and push all of the costume studs into that can't be rescued and make a craft piece from it. That's a cute earring. It'll perhaps be made into a pendant or a charm. And what's this? That's a piece of crystal. That looks like quite a, an old earring and I'm pretty sure that's a sterling hook there. It's kind of lost a lot of its plating but I'll find something to do with it, I'm sure I will. Now there's another one, so we could make them back into earrings. Perhaps we'll do that. Oh, sat myself at a funny angle, excuse me, to do this, and uh, it's not comfy. There's the other one to those Marks and Spencer's earrings. Who's the rustling? Oh, that's a pretty little stud. 
it's made to look vintage but I don't think it is I've got similar ones to this that just came from Primark about 15 years ago or something oh that's a sweet little flower just plated but that will be a nice dangle that perhaps will go into the children's workshop as well and the other one of those shell yeah I think they are abalone shell that's been coated in something I'll make sure that back into the earrings again and the other one of those and the other one of those that's interesting there are a few pairs up there and that's the other one to that one that we tested with the magnet and those are all just both held they'll go in the children's workshops we've got a ring here but it's a nasty plated one I'll just put that into pre-loved. I've got lots of rings that I'll either lot up or I'll just take them to something where I'm with children and let them have them. This looks like a sterling silver piece. What does it say? Soul Flower 925. I don't know that brand. That's really pretty. So my other update is that I've just bought a Presidium gem tester. So I will be able to test for gems. This looks like glass to me or crystal. It doesn't look like amethyst. But it could be, so I will test that. So is that our first definite sterling silver? I think it may well be. I like that one. Oh no, we have that one too. I'm going to pop them, pop those into a separate pot. This is cute. It's got, what is it? A little rose and a freshwater pearl. And an earring back attached to it <laughs> that's obviously not supposed to be on there i wonder if that was a long earring dangle perhaps we'll find the other one to that what's this is this it no nope. well that's a similar one hmm intriguing and put those to one side for now and this looks like somebody's tried to whoops tried to make some earrings out of these and given up look no, I've not quite turned the loop there. These are Peruvian beads and I think they're really cool. I had a pair of, um, I made a pair like this from an old Peruvian necklace and I had them in my Etsy shop and they sat there for months and months and I loved them so I just kept them in the end. I will make these into earrings, they'll probably go into one of my shops rather than onto Etsy. I like those. Let me know what you think. Do you think they're cool? I enjoy wearing mine. We've got a watch face. Lusha, I think that says. Stainless steel back. That was my watch buzzing behind me if you heard that noise. I don't really know what to do with watches. That will probably be lotted up. This looks interesting. So this does look quite an old piece. Um, it's hard to tell on the camera, but I think that is shell. So it's a shell cameo. I wonder if this was a stick pin that's lost its pin. I guess it could have been an earring. I wonder, could it be gold? It's not magnetic. Cute. Okay, I'm gonna put that in my pile of things to test when I'm brave enough to get the acids out. I've had my girls off of school for the last two and a half weeks. They've just gone back today, so I haven't been able to obviously get acids and things out. But I will do, and I'll let you know how I get on. Those are some pretty heart beads. They'll go with the children's ones. Oh, a huge glass bead just fell on the floor and rolled along. We've got um, a costume bangle. Quite nice. And another one that will go quite nicely with it. I'll probably put those together and they'll go into one of the shops. And that's just the tag that came off my ring that I bought. A nice piece of dichroic glass. Oh, well, that's a pendant, so I can save that. That can go back onto a new cord or something. Oh, that's interesting. Is it a face? I see faces and everything. Do you see a face in that? Or is it just a sort of starburst type pattern? It's malachite, anyway. It's a malachite gemstone. That will make a cool pendant if unless we find the other one 
but I suspect we won't. We've got lots of seed beads on here. So those will just get reused. It's broken, whatever it is. And more faux pearls. That looks like it was vintage, whatever it was, but it's beyond its useful life, unfortunately. Another pearly bead. I don't know why the camera's not focusing properly today. This is a chunky costume beaded thing with flowers. These things take me forever to cut all of the beads off, but I will cut those off and those will be reused probably again for the children's workshops. Not at these. They look like they might be howlite beads that have been dyed. I love these, the shape of these um, beads and I normally make them into hoop earrings. They look really cute for the summer. So that's probably what will happen with those. And there's another one there. Miranda doesn't want her necklace anymore. That will go in the children's workshops. What's this one? It's broken. Not a silver clasp. And all oh, the coatings coming off those. I'm not sure if they can be saved, but I'll have a look later. More blue seed beads. How funny. Why do you ever get blue? And there's lots today. This looks like a tourist piece. Big bangle. It's huge. Big one. That will go into pre-loved because I don't want to cut. Take me ages to cut all of those beads off. Uh, choker. Are they beads? They're those kind of. They look more like the ones that you stick onto things. That will probably go into craft. Oh, do you know what? It's not a choker. It's a bra strap. Look. <laughs> yeah, perfect pair. How funny. Oh, I'm intrigued. Look, there's a little bag. Let's see what's in here. I used to have one of these little pouches when I was a kid. Oh, it's full of seed beads. Let's just check there's no treasure in there. <laughs> Sadly not. Okay, those will be reused. I'm well stocked with seed beads now, aren't I? What's this one? This looks and feels old. It's got an Egyptian sort of figure on it. That's pretty cool. I wonder what that's come off. Let's put that to one side for now. This, oh, here we go. Here's another one. Let's just focus that camera in. Oh, look, there's a face. Wow, that's so cool. And the pyramids in the background. These are glass. I think they're quite old. What period those are from? Should we have a guess? Let me know in the comments how old you think those are. I wonder if it was a long strand of, uh, of beads. Those are really cool. Oh, look. I wonder if this one goes with this one. Do you think that's a pair? They're definitely made by the same person. This brown is exactly the same. Oh, they're, they're really fun. Those will go onto new hooks and be resold. We've got a fish. I've got a fish larger than this, actually, in one of my shops at the moment on a necklace. So that will probably be made into a pendant as well. Those are just plastic beads. I'll go into the children's workshops. Oh, I've got treasure hiding at the bottom here. That just caught my eye. This has got an Indian look about it. What does it say there? Mm, none the wiser. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it was a pin look with a um, pendant hook. That's an old hook, unless they were using them for longer, wherever it was made. Is it Indian, do you think? Hard to know. It's really cool though, and it looks like silver. It could be Indian silver. I'm going to put that in my pile of things to test. We've got a glasses cord. I've got two of these now. I might put those onto Etsy, see if they go. I don't know whether they're popular or not. They might be. That's a cute little seeded necklace. 
probably be cut up to be reused. And we've got a sterling silver hook that'll be scrapped. Oh, these are interesting. That looks like a natural stone. Oh, or are they wood? It's hard to tell because they're so small, they're light. They might be sort of coconut shell or something like that. Cute, they'll probably make more hoops. Another glasses cord. Well, this is pretty. The faux pearls. Um, that's a really easy fix. It's just come off. One of its um, rings has just been opened. I can fix that really easily. That's really pretty. My daughter and I both got necklaces, you might have seen in one of my previous videos, that are coloured glass like this. I've got a gold one, she's got a silver one. So I might fix that up and that'll go nicely. And we've got an owl who seems to be missing his stone from his tummy. That is just costume. I will likely reuse the chain and put the owl into a craft lot. These are very pretty vintage glass beads. Is it broken? I think it just needs its tails trimming off the end, to be honest. I think it's good. So, do I cut that one up and make some interesting earrings from it? Or do we sell it as a vintage piece? Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, what you think I should do with that one? I'm not sure. Some more little sparkly beads. This one is interesting. Let's see if we can get this one. Out. So these look like those plastic pony beads that um, the children craft with, but they're glass. They look to me sort of like trade beads, like African trade beads. Could they possibly be? They're not really. That's not really a necklace, is it? It's been. That's not even a sliding knot. That could be quite old. Do you know more about trade beads? Can you let me know what you think? That would be quite cool if I did find some, wouldn't it? I love the noise that they make. Right, those. Now we're in a big tangle here, so I might just pause and untangle and then I'll be back. So I've untangled that mess and we've got a, quite a mix of things. We've got just a costume piece that's lost its plating. We've got some vintage beads that I can't use because the cord goes through them. It's kind of been glued through them. And we've got a cheapy bracelet or anklet, but that looks like it's never been used. I'll probably just put that into a bag of pre-loved bits. We've got these seed, so not seed beads, but they're beads actually made of seeds. I don't know if you can see that easily on the camera. They're quite cool. We've got this lovely little pendant. I don't know if that symbol means something. It looks like a C and then this intricate pattern here. Let's check it with the magnet. It is magnetic. I don't, it doesn't feel like silver and there's no markings on it, but that will make a pretty pendant. So I'll pop that onto a chain. We had this little guy who is a doggy earring. It's got an articulated tail and the back has got his body so it kind of goes through the ear. He's quite fun. Um, some old plastic beads. It's got a bit of a shine to them, which is quite pretty. Some more pearly looking seed beads, they're always useful. Uh, another one of these chains, do you remember we found one of those earlier? So that can be made back into earrings. And this necklace, which has caught, sort of wound itself up, um, has got magnetic hematite on that side. It's all stuck to each other. It looks like um, a lariat. Oh, because there's no clasp there. 
So that will either go into pre-loved or I'll use the beads for something. We lost an earring there. That's just a costume stud. It's a pair of broken, I assume that they're broken earrings. I think that probably would have had something to hang it there. The beads are really not great. They're very, very thin plastic. I'm not sure what I'll do with those. There's a few lease beads that have come off of this, whatever this was. In fact, we found part of that earlier. Uh, a cord. Uh, this one is like a belly dancers style anklet, which is quite cute. It's just missing its clasp, so I can fix that one. And these little nut or wood beads. They're quite pretty. I'll probably put those onto hoop earrings as well for the summer. So that was all of our random bigger bits. And then we've got this big tray to look through. So let me just zoom in on that a bit. And we'll get a tray and I'll just start pulling across some of the loose beads as we find them. This was the one that fell on the floor earlier. Oops, it's just plastic. I think there was a whole necklace of them by the looks of it. We've got a lot of those. This is interesting that we've got two pieces of what I guess was a panel bracelet. Oh there, that's where it connects. That could probably be fixed if I could get hold of a pin or make it. Well, I could probably make one with a head pin. Ah, but it's missing its clasp as well. Perhaps we'll find it. That looks Indian as well, doesn't it, do you think? Don't, can't really say much about that one. Let me know in the comments if you know more about that one. There's a beautiful piece of quartz, I guess, here. Look at that running through it, it's so pretty. That will make a pendant for sure. Oh, here's the other dog earring. Oh, he's lost an eye, bless him. <laughs> Quite sweet. I can see we've got some more magnetic hematite here. Another bit of lapis. That's one of those bracelets that you sort of wind round and it all attaches itself to itself. I'll probably pop that into pre-loved rather than reuse it. I always worry about using magnetic beads because they're so dangerous around children and animals. Some shells. I'm always using shells for my summer collection. Pop some of those over. These that look like turquoise are not. They're just plastic. They're really light and nasty. Oh look! We've got two more of these Egyptian ones. Quite excited about these, I think they're really cool. So we've got four, that one there. Ah, another droplet. Oh, I could make some amazing earrings from those. Oh, cool. So we've got five now. Some more of these that we found earlier. And my jewelry that I'm wearing, by the way, are these two rings and this um, bangle are gonna be in an upcoming video about online thrifting. So I've bought some pieces um, in online charity shops and eBay, so I'm gonna talk about that and whether it's worth doing. This is an interesting earring. Kind of reminds, it, reminds me of the Maltese crosses. Have you seen those, the pendants? I'm not sure that those are real stones and it's obviously not real silver or gold, it's a bit tatty. Still quite cool. Oh look, there's the other one of those. I'll make those back into earrings again. There's the other one. There. That's just a cabochon thing, plastic that's come off something. Well that's what I was trying to talk about earlier, the pony beads, the plastic ones that look like those glass ones I found. It's just a glass faux pearl. The buttons, I always find buttons. More of these. That's another one of those seedy ones. Okay, I'm going to pick some of these out so you don't have to watch me do this and then I'll show you the more interesting stuff. So I've just pulled out some of the beads that were all similar, these turquoise colour ones and those black ones, just so you didn't have to watch me doing all of that because there was tons of them in there. 
Um, there are some glass ones mixed in. These were plastic ones, but these are a nice vintage glass. So I will reuse those beads. Oh, look, that's the clasp from our panel gate bracelet. It does say something on there, but I think it's too warm to read it. Put it that way. Hmm. No idea. <laughs> I can't read that. Um, what's this? That's quite cool. Looks like a Albert chain. Not a necklace because there's no clasp. Oh, it must be a. It must be a pocket watch chain, I guess. But it's definitely, it's not gold. I know it looks it on the camera, but it's it's light. I think that must be a sort of modern costume piece. Maybe it did have a little clock hanging off it. Fun. This is a clasp that so seems to be missing pretty much all of its stones. So that will go into craft. This is a familiar pin. I think I had this when I was a teenager. The Variety Club. Don't know what to do with that really. Perhaps it'll go into a lot of pins. Well, that's an interesting bead. I went to Croatia last year for a long weekend with my girlfriends, um, and there were very similar beads to this were worn on their traditional dress and lots of jewellery made out of them. I guess it's probably a common style bead, perhaps they're found in other places, there's another one there. I might make those into earrings. So that will drop, but just a costume one. More seed beads. Oh, there's the other one of those earrings. So I don't think that's its original hook because it doesn't even match the right colour. So perhaps I'll put those onto gold hooks. And they'll go into one of the shops. There's a key. How strange. Maybe I'll make that into a something on a charm bracelet or something. This looks interesting. That looks Masonic, doesn't it? Oh, 2168. And that looks like a set of British hallmarks. Yep. So we've got the lion mark there for sterling silver. There is a year stamp there, so I'll be able to work out how old it is. And I think that's the Birmingham anchor. Yes. And it says WPC. That's quite cool. I'll pop that in with the sterling silver stuff. Broken, yeah, broken necklace chain with charms on. That one in the middle is quite nice though. Probably make earrings out of those two. Charm out of that one and a pendant out of that one. They'll be reused. We've got a brooch, sadly missing a stone there. Probably going to craft. There's a marble that'll go into my daughter's marble run, no doubt. Some nice glass beads. Clip earring. No markings on that. It's quite pretty. Got a 90s look about it. Another bell, maybe anklet. How long is it? Oh, it might be a bracelet actually, sorry. That just needs a new clasp, so I'll fix that up when I do that anklet, wherever I put that. More sea beads. A nice vintage clasp, but only one side of it. We'll see if the other side comes out. Oh, look at that. Sweet little cat. That's nice. I'll definitely do something with that. That's nothing. Looks like the surround off or something. Lots and lots of beads. That looks like a dyed stone. Off a triple strand bracelet. Treble clef. Oh, it's missing its bar. That's a shame. That'll need to go into a craft lot. What have we got here? Dolphins. I think they might be made of shell. Could be bone. No, I think it's shell. 
if that doesn't have its mate I'll take them off and make them into smaller earrings what's this then that's an earring I bet that's silver magnetic is that something just there Yes, is that a 925? I think it probably is. I'll put that in the silver pile. Little pearl earring. That looks like a silver post, so that'll go in the silver for looking at as well. It's a vintage earring, which hook has gone a bit yuck. If we've got the mate to that, I'll remake those. Ah, here's the other one of those chains that we found right at the beginning. Ah, oh, that has a back attached to it too. Okay, I understand now. So, this must be the front and this is the back. How fun. So, they're attached there and then you've got one part hanging at the front and one at the back. Oh, I love those. What a fun idea. Okay, so we've got a full pair there. Yeah, we've got a whole pair there now, so I'll sort those out. That's a very Mark Suspensers looking earring. I get lots of earrings in like that. It's a stud though, so I can't really do much with that. A little flower bow. Lots more seed beads. There's another sterling hook that can be scratched. That looks like it could be a silver clasp. How does that say, folks? Let me have a look through the loop. Oh, it's a nine two five. <laughs> I thought it was a longer. I thought it was a longer word across here, but it's not. It just says nine two five. So that that is the end of the glass beads with the nice long ones. This one, what a shame. That's a nice old piece. Um, oh, look, we've got the other end of the clasp there too. Oh, I might have some fun restoring that one. I'll just separate out the glass beads from those plastic ones. This looks like a sterling hook. I think that's probably a piece of quartz there. daughter's got these this is one of these things you clip into your hair and it looks like you've got a bead in your hair it closes up actually I'll probably be mad at that flattened ear earring with a dragonfly on it but that looks like silver so I'll put that in the pop silver this one looks like the ones you get your ears pierced with it's got a sweet little pearl in it I don't think that's anything. A nice evil eye or all seeing eye. That's really sweet. So another one. I can't see another one. I think I need to make a little charm bracelet, don't I? And hang all these little bits off that are coming out. There's a little tie pin. It was worth checking tie pins because sometimes they're gold, but that one doesn't look like it is. Little vintage stud. What's the pin I just put back in? What's this? That's just a bit of plated chain. Ah, now these tiny little beads, I wonder if they came off whatever this was. Let's just put them together. They look like old pressed glass beads to me. So that's quite exciting. I've only got five of the bigger beads. And there's a few of these smaller ones. Let's just see how many we've got. Oh, I'd love to have seen the original piece. I wonder if I can find something on Google Lens. Oh, that's just another one of those hair beads that happens to be the same colour, and so is that one. So I think that's our collection of those. 
I absolutely love those. Let me know in the comments if you've ever seen anything like that. I'd love to see a complete necklace with those on. So cool. Uh, there's another one of those filigree type beads. I'll just look at those other ones. Guys, you should see my table now. <laughs> it's completely covered in beads and broken bits of jewellery. Are we down to the dregs? What's that? That could be a little sterling hoop. So I'll pop that in with silver to check. It's more of those nice long glass ones. That's just a costume hook. Can you see any more treasure? Is there anything else hiding? That's the other one of those earrings. What's that? Oh, that's cute, look. It's a key with a hanging heart. Sweet. You just never know what you're gonna find in the very last dregs of the last things. Some sterling back there I'll put that in with the silver wow well that was a fun bag to open I really enjoyed it I hope you did too and I've got my little pot of silver here for testing and um, I'm looking at the marks and things and those lovely Egyptian glass beads to play with they're probably not well possibly not from Egypt but just part of the Egyptian revival in the 20s would that have been let me know you're probably more knowledgeable than me uh i really hope i'll see you on the next one please don't forget to like and subscribe and here's some videos that you might like to watch next see you on the next one